good morning to all this is one second Ganesh Kumar in this video I am explain about how to do the NDVA in this NDVA normalized difference vegetation index mainly used to calculate the amount of vegetation around the area for the thing I am taking the multispectral imagery glass multi ok that image is the now we are going to load the image first multi, multi. and the load image please directly open this mtl file only now the image is all loaded you can able to see the data manager multispectral thermal and pan chromatic images the and pan one is band one is the blue region band two green band three red band four infrared band five also infrared band seven also infrared okay it is very near infrared that band number five and band number seven is available in the short wave infrared media uh, band number 61 62 is available in the thermal region and band number 8 we can able to see the pan images normally number of person doing NDVA now they are going directly NDVA and take the area and do the thing actually that is a wrong one ok for that reason I am saying that you are selecting any image any particular area and subject the layer it is not a problem but going to that NDVA analysis means we need to calculate something some pre-processing steps are needed in the multispectral imagery also we can we are going to see that one by one at first you just uh, remove that layer at first we are going to remove this gap scan line in this function just choose that and give the file name yeah and give ok and give ok select the multi spectral only because multi spectral layer is enough to do this NDVA classification it will take some times actually we need to do the proper NDVA classification mean you must do radiance and reflectance for any kind of imagery it may be multispectral, hyperspectral or ultraspectral is not a problem ok still now it's loading after removing the gap fit, we are going to select the particular radio because we are going to do the thing for whole area it will take number of time for that reason we are going to select particular area for our time consuming process ok now the gap is are worked out and scan lines are removed now we are going to select the particular region save image save file and give the gap fill and so in the space subset we select the area I am taking that area with the water layer give ok and save the result this is subset and give ok and now it's going to say for your classification for your clarification I am going to do two kind of NDVA one thing I am not doing any quick processing step directly giving that data and find out the result another one I am going to give the perfect pre-processing step after that we are going to see the result this way for the thing first one we are going to calculate directly NDVA function and select the subset layer and lens LTM is not a problem and uh, here I am saving in a memory file load 
to two layer here it will show the NDVA actually as a visualize it's not a problem but you can see the cursor value of the thing also that cursor value you can able to see in the vegetation water body is around zero but it is the dense dense forest region around the flood basin area but you can able to see it is only 0 0.2 0 0.3 only it is not good NDVA result NDVA is a result normally coming at a minus 1 to plus 1 but it is not giving the correct result okay for that reason I am doing this analysis after that what is the correct procedure means you need to calculate the radiance and reflectance after that only you are going to calculate this NDVA look at that I am looking very black but it is not my true color because when the sun rays it will give the EMR electromagnetic radiation it will spot and scattering in the sun region in the in my skin after that what happened means in my physical chemical and optical property of my skin just like the metabolic content is too high in my skin for that reason I am looking only the black color that the same thing is happened in the optical remote sensing just see that how to do this radiance conversion radiance is converted using radiometric calibration tool here select the subset region and give ok and apply flash settings necessary is enough in the output to interleave they will give three methods BSQ BSQ means band sequential BL, BL means band interleave by line BIP BIP means band interleave by pixel but then the three columns BIL give better result compared to BSQ and BIP and you may give the output layer the desk of ADS and give ok after that it will convert DN values to the radiance value after that I am going to give the reflectance in the reflectance normally it has two types first one is uh, first one is absolute reflectance absolute reflectance is able to calculate using flash and quack atmospheric correction and normal reflectance or uh, sorry relative reflectance able to calculate using flat field correction internal average relative reflectance and log residuals now you can able to see that radiance images are loaded now you can able to see the spectral profile of radiance value ok that's enough and we are going to do the processing using quack quack means quick atmospheric correction now why I am taking this thing means to take flash atmospheric correction you need to give number of metadata of information for that reason ETM plus imageries flash uh, sorry quack will give better result but why you are taking like hyperspectral imagery means you must do the flash atmospheric correction please load the radiance imagery only and give that and select the outer layer part and give ok now the quark atmospheric correction values are loaded now the radiance values convert to the reflectance value now we are going to load this NDVA NDVA okay here give the quack file as a input layer and save the memory that's it now you can take this cursor point and you can able to see that that memory value is coming out of 0 0.85 for the dense vegetation region but the previous one it will show 0 0.2 only for that reason we can able to suggest that when we do the radiance after the reflectance correction after the doing the NDVA will give the very better result 
it's not only for this uh, ATM plus it is same for every Landsat images OLI and TM and ATM plus as well as I plus petrol also thank you if you like this video means please subscribe me